Welcome, today we have an exciting new item to review. We have the Toner T90 RGB Boom Arm. Without further ado, let's spin that intro. Welcome. First, I want to start off with the disclaimer. I want to say thank you to Toner for providing us with this product to review. That being said, this is not a paid review and the opinions stated in here are that of my own. Today, we are going to unbox this thing. We're going to go over the specs. We're going to go over the features. Then we're going to set it up and we are going to test it out. Most importantly, we're going to discuss whether or not you should buy this product. Let's stop gabbing. Let's tear into it. Again, this is the Toner T9 RGB heavy duty boom arm. And we're gonna open this thing up and see exactly what's in the box. Oh, what's in, what's the box? in the box? You know what time it is, baby. RGB knife. Engage, never gets old. So let's open this guy up and take a look. See here. Let's see all what comes with this purchase. Man, I mean, this is just the, just the box overall is just heavy. You can tell it's definitely a lot more robust than a standard boom arm. So there is our nice handy dandy little instruction sheet. And let's pull out this guy here. And there's the main arm. Let's take it out and take a look. There it is all nice and folded up in all its goodness. All right. What else is included? We have our USB to USB-C cable. We have uh, the base to hook on to the table. Let's cut that open. There's our base, and this would probably be the other piece of the clamp. Sure is. There we go. So not a lot of pieces in here. All you have is the main boom arm itself with the attachment already hooked onto it. You have the clip for the base and you have your cable and your instructions. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And as you can see, I quickly assembled this thing here and it was quite simple, quite quick. You just literally assemble the two pieces on the bottom for the clamp. You clamp it to the desk. You slide this piece of plastic cover off right here. It just slides up and out and then you plug in your USB-C and boom, you are up and running. Of course, you gotta hook up your mic. Let's quickly go over the specs on this thing. First and foremost, it is made of a heavy duty steel. This is much thicker than your standard boom arm. It also has ABS and the beautiful LEDs and RGB in there. Toner boasts that this thing can hold up to two kilograms or 4.4 pounds for those of us in the US. And most importantly, this thing accommodates a wide range of microphones because it utilizes the standard 5 8 inch connector screw. And so it is compatible with most popular brands such as your Yetis or your HyperX Quadcast. And the majority of modern microphones will thread right onto this 5 8 inch connector. And then they also boast that this thing has a large range of motion. And of course, the way it is connected on the desk, it has a 360 swivel all the way around and then this thing sweet reaches clear out to 180 degrees and you put your mic clear over there if need be so for testing what we're going to do is we're going to first compare the size the looks and the adjustability of the t90 toner to a standard boom arm and this one came with the toner q9 microphone but it is just about like any other standard boom arm so first off foremost the this has the same 5 8 inch connector the standard connector for most mics the one thing that did pop out to me about this beautiful rgb um, stand is that if it comes with the attachable pop screen like this one does this is actually made to hook onto the arm and there's no way that you're going to hook this kind of pop screen onto this arm so that is something I just popped out in my brain. As far as the adjustability and the control, both have the 360 design, both have the same ability to extend in the same range of motion. Of course, the toner is much stiffer. It's brand new, obviously, too, though. So it is a much stiffer mic arm but it says that it can hold some extra weight. So I assume that the stiffness is probably better in that aspect because all you want, you don't want to have a heavy mic and then your, your mic stand not want to stay in the place where you stick it. So 
yeah so there's the difference in the bulkiness and look and feel so there is a lot more of a see-through and this doesn't take up as much as the optical but man look how beautiful this one is so yeah so next, let's just hook up a couple microphones to this thing and see how well it adjusts and move. And this is the Toner Q9 microphone that actually came with this boom arm. I did a video on this. It's an amazing budget microphone and it just, it has great sound quality for the price. Make sure to check up that video up above. We're gonna hook on this microphone. We're gonna do some just moving around and then we're gonna probably grab our quad cast because that one will look really good with this, especially with the different lighting effects. And we're gonna see how well it moves, adjusts, and stays in place with the heavier quadcast microphone. So let's do that. All right, so here we are. We have the Q9 hooked on here and it just threaded on real nice and easy to hear. And then we tightened up our little adjuster to put it at what angle we want. And then of course, if you would have to have your cable, so your cable would come up and then it would, and it would run right through here and you would just slide this down and it pops off like so, you route it and then you slide this one off, you route it and so then you have a nice clean look without any cables and this goes off to your PC. And then you snap it back into place like so. So yeah, let's go ahead and just kind of move this thing around, see how it feels. Yeah, so there's a nice little drop mic if you need to have it up and over, and it kind of depends on your setup at your gaming station. A lot of people have it down low, like so, in front of them, where it's not blocking monitor, or not blocking field of view. And you would turn it to wherever your best position is. So yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty nice, and then you you're working, you want it out of your way, you're going back to your streaming, your gaming, you slide it back in there and boom, you got your microphone. Field of vision's great. If your monitor's up high, if your monitor's down low, you might want to do like a drop configuration. You can run it from your other side, run it from the corner up in. This thing definitely leads a lot of versatility. Let's go ahead and hook in the quadcast and take a look at it on the boom arm here. All right, so here it is with the HyperX quadcast. I don't have the cable plugged in, but if you plug in your cable, you would run it right from your microphone and you would just simply slide this piece off of here like so you route your cable underneath you do the same thing on the back side your cable points out at the bottom it looks nice and tidy so yeah there it is it's really solid it's really sturdy it's a very nice boom arm and everything looks pretty good it seems to stay in place however i want it to be with no issues you want the mic sideways there you go and yeah, that's a pretty, pretty thing. Let's, let's change the colors again. We got it. Let's get something else. Let's go. Let's go to red because I got the all red quad cast. So next, let's just go ahead and go over some of the pros and the cons of this guy. So let's start with the cons. First and foremost, it requires an extra USB plug-in because this has to be powered. These RGB lights have to be powered. So you've got an extra cable. You're going to have two cables coming out of this boom arm, whereas your standard boom arm, you're only going to have to power the microphone itself. Also, this is much bulkier, much thicker. So it could potentially block your field of view because it's much thicker and not so see-through as this one. So placement is very key with this boom arm, with any boom arm, but especially with a thicker, flashier one like this. And lastly, too much RGB can cause a rip in the time-space continuum. So now let's move on to the pros. Pros, this thing has a slick, stylish design. It has a great range of motion. It has the beautiful, subtle accents all over the plastic shielding. It is very rugged and heavy duty and made to withstand extra weight, which is great for those bigger, bulkier microphones. Another plus is that you can hide your cables under these nice plastic shrouds here, and that way it's all clean and tidy. And lastly, RGB, 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 and an assortment of light modes. Let's go ahead and put a bow on this thing. The Toner T90 RGB mic boom arm is a gorgeous product. This mic stand is a great upgrade for any gamer or for any streamer looking to really level up their game. Again, links will be down in the description for this Amazon listing. I think that about wraps it up. Let's go ahead and cut to that outro.
Well, there you have it, the Toner T90 RGB Boom Mic Arm. A great, beautiful addition to any gaming or streaming setup. If you liked the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride.